<laughs> Sometimes things just don't work out. And that's, this goes into the category of there's no point in uh, crying over spilled milk. You know, you, you could, there's no point in, other than just like, I'm, I don't, I can't think of any other ideas. And so, um, take two, uh, <laughs> Mech Warrior instead. <laughs> Let's see. Is there any fun, uh, any fun Mech Warrior quote uh, we could do instead? Uh, nah, we'll just do Take More Mark Warrior instead. That's that's gonna be fine. Uh, BattleTech. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I wasn't prepared for Mech Warrior stream today, but fuck it. <laughs> you have Batman Arkham Asylum. I played that for PS3 once upon a time. Um, I didn't beat it, uh, but I did borrow it from a friend of mine. That game is fun. Let's disconnect my controller because otherwise the game's going to want to use the controller instead. All right. So welcome everybody. It was, was totally going to be a mech warrior stream the whole time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Vermintide 1 or 2. I've heard of those games. I've heard really, really, really good things. Let's see. The audio levels for this sound like they're going to be pretty good. Good. Yeah. Audio levels are going to be good. All right. Perfect. Uh, do you recommend it? What type of uh, what type of game is it? So I know Batman Arkham Asylum is really good. Um, that actually would be really fun to play on stream sometime. So let's load and uh, let's find out what I was even doing. I don't actually even remember what I was doing. And we got an ad that's going to start in about a minute. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some bookkeeping here and try and figure out what is going on. Okay. So we are right now here. Oh, right. We have to do this war zone contract. Okay. So I see what's going on here. Okay. And then that is the mission all the way in bumfuck all the way over here in Montour. Okay. So let's, okay. So rough overview before the ad starts. Inner Sphere, Earth, Sci-Fi, all of these are the successor states, and it's kind of like the science fiction version of Game of Thrones, but this was way before Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, kind of like a Warhammer story-based roguelite multiplayer horde rush game. Ooh, that does sound good. Really cool, worth having a look at. I will definitely take a look at that while the ad plays. Um, let's see. While that ad is playing, Seraph is going to... Reevaluate what's going on. Okay, all my mechs are right. I'm in an. Okay, I've got this going on. Let's take a look at the weapon groups here. These are my weapon groups. Okay, so. All right, so this is my mech. Let's do that. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to do that. And we'll do the SRM 2s. So let's reconfigure this. Because these four, even though it heats up the mech a lot more, but to be able to do four, uh, four, oh no, I, I see why. Nope, let's cancel that. Good, I see why I did that. Okay, right, these are pulse lasers and these are medium lasers. I was thinking the default archer that had four medium lasers and it's not it's not actually that way. Nope, this is good. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. I feel like this mech did pretty well. Uh, just letting the computer fire PPCs, I, I think works think this works really well for this mech. The only thing I might do is bring tag a little further in just to make sure that the AI prioritizes it more. But I feel like the AI has been using tag pretty good. So I don't think I have to mess with that. This is the Warhammer that didn't get obliterated. I'm almost debating whether or not to put him in the Orion instead of the Warhammer. In fact, I might do that. Let's put them in the Orion instead. And let's also, uh, yeah, let's paint this mech. But we're going to apply all. We're going to select none, and then we're just going to select the Orion. Cool. Okay. Let's go back to, go back, go to the Orion. Yep. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's as good of a paint job as we're going to do right now on stream. Uh, <laughs> I really need to get better at painting my mechs. Oh, that's still yeah, I I gotta I gotta let gotta let E6 go. Just gotta let it go. <laughs> um it is what it is. Oh, we've actually got the stalker. Maybe I should bring the stalker in. Instead of the uh the Orion. But I'm thinking I'll we'll just leave the Oh no, we should bring that stalker because of the Guardian ECM suite. 
we should absolutely be bringing that stalker in. Okay. So yeah, the stalker is what we're going to bring. Hell to the yeah. Let's take a look at the weapon groups on this. I think this is going to be good though. I think this is I think this is going to be fine. Even though I don't think the computer's going to fire these medium lasers very often because of the heat, but they'll primarily fire the large lasers and the LRM15s, I think. That should be a good layout for that for that stalker, but if it's not, we could always tweak the weapon groups and see what's going on. All right. Let's do this mission, and then we're going to view... Okay, let's do view transmissions here. X marks the spot. Right. Okay. So this mission is going to send us all the way up, and the reward for this is a really cool battle mech. But um, we can we can look into this later. But but anyway, um, yeah, let's let's just close that for now. I'll, we'll, we'll get into that after this mission. So this is going to be a war zone. It's going to be a shit show. We're going to be defending the honor. Count Cameron Jones has been evacuated from immediate danger, but the rebellious troops from the 4th Hussars have not let up on their attack. Hold the line until the Count is safely aboard his dropship, then withdraw to the rendezvous point. So let's confirm this. We should have a decent amount of salvage from this. But let's also make some money. All right, we should be able to make 2 million sea bills, and we should end up with a shit ton of salvage from this. Let's do it. I've got this. No, you're going to go with the Stalker. And you're bringing in the Archer. Everything looks okay here. All right. Well, let's do this. It's still loading, but we'll get there. <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight is an RPG game. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've heard, I'm trying to remember how far I got into it. Um, a friend of mine lent it to me. And I remember liking it, but I had to return it at some point. But I really do. I remember liking Arkham Knight. It's got a great atmospheric aesthetic. Yeah, that game is fun. Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All right. Well, <laughs> here we go. But the fourth Regulan Hazars are already inbound to the decoy location. Get to the Mort location and intercept them. If they realize Cameron Jones is elsewhere, they'll quickly reroute and take him down before he can evacuate. It's our job to make sure that doesn't happen. Right, in this uh, archer that I'm in, it's a hero mech, which basically means it's better than a standard mech. Right, that's my medium pulse lasers. Let's just get a little easier. Get over here. We don't have jump jets, right? Uh, but this uh, this particular archer we got as a reward. Let's see if we can see where they're coming in. Man, the atmosphere looks amazing. And this isn't even a mod. This is just standard. Whoop! Oh, something shooting at me. Parker. I can't even see you and you're shooting at me. Fine. Let's get you. Yeah. Right. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Okay, we can deal with that. Hopefully by then. Okay, that should kill it. Dead. Deal with this tank. Oh wow, we're already closing in here. Targets converging on your right. position, Commander. Let's try not to get a hit again. Even though that wasn't that bad of a hit, but still, not... Oh, shit. There's the dropship. Okay, guys. Let's... Man, that would be nice if I had done, uh, airstrike support. <laughs> New target. Quick drop. No, we got a we got some targets coming in behind us. Okay, let's deal with this asshole. Good. 
good. We took out its fucking weapon. So it's pretty much toast now. We got this asshole. Now deal with this guy. I uh, can't exactly do that right now, Rihanna. That's enough out of you. We did a nice job on that guy. All right, come on, get close to that. Collect this. Excellent find, Commander. Playing Ghost Recon Wild. Reconnaissance flights show increased enemy presence in the vicinity. Yeah, here we go. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. Oh man, that thing really freaking gotten in there. New target blackjack. Fuck. Uh, don't like that it. Attacking shared target. Ah. Uh, deal with that hunchback. We need to destroy that hunchback in a hurry. No, 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 get back away. Kill that fucking blackjack. Go. Tied uh, my damaged side here. Oh, I thought it was gonna keep going. Okay. okay. Next. I think what we'll do here is let's, uh, yeah, we'll go to this. That way, hopefully, they attack the uh, Archer Agicord a little less. We can hope, anyway. Okay, that Rifleman's got to go first. That Rifleman is a glass cannon. And it could hurt us if we let it. Okay, now we destroy that stalker. Yeah. Shit. Okay, I gotta cool off here. Last one. Damn it, Agincourt, you fucking bastard. You lost the torso. I didn't want you to lose. Fucking bastard. That sucks, man. Sure, turn your back to me. That's brilliant. Turn toward me too late. <laughs> That's right. Turn your back to my entire lance, you bastard. That's enough out of that. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, you got cord, Bradford? How did you get cord in that? That wasn't that bad. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This wasn't worth this. And they're sending a battle master against us now. That's terrible. I got it. Jesus. What a shit show this turned into. God damn it. We 
may as well fire on that while we're trying to escape. I definitely don't want to fight that battle master. Come on, come on, ow! Come on, we gotta get the hell away from that battle master. Ugh. Damn it. It's doing too much damage to me. Well, this is not great. <laughs> I guess this is going to be the, um, what, whatever can go wrong is going to go wrong stream. <laughs> Good grief. Hey, Deep Fry, how are you, my friend? Uh, a Deep Fry descends from the... Oh, Jesus Christ, Juarez, you're going to die too now? We're going to lose two freaking mechs over this. This was not worth this. How did that even happen? These mechs weren't all that bad. Is officially in orbit. Like this shouldn't have that shouldn't have happened. No, we don't. Just get out of here. Ugh. Lame. Oh, that was terrible. Jazu oh, you know Jazu? <laughs> yeah. My stream started and then uh I gotta follow. So I appreciated that. Nice. Yeah, oh. Well, I'm sorry this is the first stream. It's like been a comedy of errors. We tried to get E6 to work. Couldn't get E6 to work. I don't know why it didn't want to work. It didn't want to work. We we switched to... We did an audible to Mech Warrior 5. And, well, the the results speak for themselves. Uh, let's, let's just grab these components because we're going to need these components, I think. Uh, <laughs> good grief, man. Oh, what a shit show this has been. <laughs> uh, well, we'll take the, you know what, we'll take the tier 4 medium laser. Uh, yeah, you know what, we'll take the tier 4 medium laser. So let's go that route. Um, you're injured, dear God. How did you, how did you get that? Mm, you managed to get cord. You managed to get cord. Good grief, dude. Good grief. But yeah, welcome to my world where, you know, I actually that that damage distribution isn't all that bad, but my god. My god. So yeah, we we did not we did not make money uh chat on that mission. <laughs> Another small streamer. Nice. Nice. So yeah, we're taking we're taking one on the chim today. Um it is it is what it is, man. It just it just is what it is. And I just finished repairing this, uh, this Agincourt. Yeah, you, you bastard. You lost all those pulse lasers. You lost two double heat sinks. Yeah, I, I just, I spent so much, I spent so much money, Chad, <laughs> getting that with the additional upgrades on this thing. I don't want to put it in cold storage because I'm going to lose all of those. That's one thing. This is a fun game, but I have a few gripes with it. First, as I've already kind of harped on, is the way artillery is done in this game. I hate the artillery implementation. But one of the other things right here is upgrades, right? So if you go in here and you do upgrades, you have all of these extra upgrades that you could put on the mech chassis. The problem is if you put this mech in cold storage, you lose all of the upgrades. Now, I don't know why you lose all the upgrades for this, but it's so expensive and time consuming to put these upgrades on there that... Uh, there is a mod that will keep them on there, and I think now is the time for me to find that mod and install it so I could at least put this mech into cold storage so I'm not paying upkeep on a mech that is just going to be dead weight at this point. And thus, I just say fuck it and put it in there. But these were expensive. Like, a couple of these were multi million. I think this was like two. I think this was two million C bills to put that on there. Maybe I should have stayed in it. Ugh. But the, uh, so the enemy AI typically tends to focus on you. So I thought by switching it, I would relieve the damage. But I, when I switched it, it, the damage wasn't that bad. I only had damage to the left torso, which tells me the moron managed to get himself hit in that torso and then got himself cored because the rest of the mech wasn't even all that damaged. But yeah, that, that, that is, that is very disheartening. Um, there's, there's just no words for that. So yeah, we're going to go with this. I'm and I'm out that really awesome hero um Agincourt. This is now the second mission that the Agincourt got cored. The first mission we played it in, we ran into a um 100 ton king crab. 
and I got cored in that. So that wasn't great. This is the first mission I think we were going to go back into with the Agincourt. So may I don't know, maybe that mech is just cursed. Maybe the mech is just, maybe the mech just isn't as good as I remember it being. I remember this being such a good mech, but maybe it's, maybe it's just not. Maybe this mech just isn't very good. Um, I mean, here's a hero archer. God, that one lost a freaking arm, but that's really not the end of the world. But man, I really, I feel like the Agincourt was really good, but I have not had, I have not had good luck with this on this playthrough at all. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. All right, let's read up on X. Oh my god, and there's more of this. Okay, we're we're not go we're obviously not finishing that right now. We're going to we're going to read and accept X marks the spot here. Commanders, you know, Interstellar Expeditions relies on independent contractors such as yourself to guarantee the safety of our core personnel in Interstellar Expeditions various pursuits. This sometimes means that we must rely on less scrupulous members of society, aka pirates in order to get our work done. No place is this more true than in our dealings in the deep periphery, where it is often more reliable to simply pay off local pirate groups for protection than risk raids against various excavation sites. One such group that operates in the Luring Commonwealth's deep periphery, i.e. also very, very fucking far away from where we are, uh, and the Barons has recently themselves been ta dragged into a conflict with the Oberon Confederation, a conflict that they're currently losing. Anyway, i.e. feels that it's in our best interest to provide assistance to our privateer partners in order to prevent information regarding our involvement with the group from reaching the ears of the Oberon Confederation. The Oberon Confederation is one of the periphery states. We would like to contract your outfit to join this pirate group as new recruits and assist them in a supply series of resupply raids in the Commonwealth space in Commonwealth space to better prepare themselves to stand up against the Oberon Confederation. As an initiation test, they would like you to perform an objective raid against a series of House Steiner logistical facilities within the region. So we'll accept that. We're going to accept this, but we're we're not doing this. We're definitely not doing that right now. Jesus. Okay. So we have five months to accept this contract. Uh, we got Operation Galahad. This is a DLC uh, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. So it looks like we're doing some of this today. Uh, I'm Colonel Aiden Sortek with the Armed Forces of Federated Sons. I'm reaching out on behalf of First Prince Hans Davian with a lucrative offer for you and your mercenary company. As I'm sure you've already heard, the Federated Sons have joined an alliance with the Lyran Commonwealth that will eventually merge us into a single nation the Federated Commonwealth. The eventual unification of two very different great houses has come with its fair share of skepticism and issues to work through. And in the lore of the setting, this was a huge plot uh, plot point, and there were a lot of books that take place in amongst the political intrigue of this merging of these two uh, successor states. So anyway, uh, especially when it comes to military where the AFFS and the LCAF have for centuries had two very different ways of approaching war. Yes, the Steiner uh, playbook is toss money at the solution and the Federated Sons actually uses tactics. <laughs> First, Prince Hans Davian strongly believes that it is on our best interest to work out as many of these issues as possible prior to our unification. To address this, we'll be hosting a series of war games across multiple Davian worlds and what will be called Operation Galahad. The Federated Sons would like to contract you and your mercenary company later this year to participate in these war games. We are offering generous compensation, along with the possibilities of future long-term contracts should your uh, should your performance meet our expectations. Please know soon if you would like to accept our offer. So once we accept, we are going to seed and, and travel uh, to there uh, for one week. So anyway, we're going to close that because we're we are going to accept that. But let's Jesus man, we got we got our ass kicked. <laughs> we got our ass kicked, and it didn't feel like that was that bad. It really, really didn't feel like it was that bad. All right, 41 days, 41 days. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's travel to the industrial hub. <laughs> brutal. Totally brutal. <laughs> brutal chat. <laughs> but all right, it's got to go better. It has to go better from here. Sure, we'll buy a small pulse laser. Why not? Let's take a look. Is there anything else that's of particular interest that we might want? Granted, our money situation is not great. But let's take a look at the mech market. Um, geez, I might even sell some of my battle mechs at this point. But let's repair. Yep, let's take a look at the loadout. Uh, Repair all. Good, we can repair all. Good. You're, you're repaired. All right, not the end of the world. 
Let's repair you. You're not bad. Let's take a look at the loadout here. Let's repair all. It looks like you can repair. Good, you didn't lose either of your double heat sinks. You're still okay. We'll keep that. This is fine. Okay. So at least we have a working lance now. Sucks that Agincourt got so completely and utterly fucked. But let's take a look at our... Need to know. Battle Mac upkeep. Okay. So the Agincourt is going to keep... It's going to cost me 50,000 sea bills every time we do an upkeep thing. So considering how much money I've already spent in upkeep on that Agincourt, I think we'll just keep it for now. I think I really do think that's my my best plan for it. We'll just keep it because if it those upgrades cost anywhere between two and three million sea bills to do. So I think I'd have to have this mech in operation for like 20 years. <laughs> Something like that. I, I think we're all right. We'll we'll just keep it for now. Okay. Not how I would have wanted that, but whatever. All right, you're actually pretty good. Captain ready, Commander. Meet you in the ready room. Ready for action. Nice dropship, but boring as hell. Hmm. Well, maybe we should actually hire one of these better pilots. Prepped and ready, Commander. Meet you in the ready room. Let's see. Uh, you can't evade very well, so you're not going to evade damage very well. well. Let's take a look. Jeez. Well, no, 54. You should be okay. Wow, I only have four pilots at this point. Yeah. In the ready room. I really should hire our uh, little Captain Crosby here. But you know what? Let's take a look. You know what? Let's also take, let's just, for the amusement of it, let's take a look and see what's here. And then we'll go and take a look at the cantina, do a little bit of upkeep. And then, yeah, I guess we'll do Operation Galahad. We'll do Operation Galahad with the stalker. That'll be how we do this. Hero Dragon. Mm. Nah, I mean, it's pretty neat, but that's that's not worth the chunk of our the sheer amount of sea bills that would cost I don't see anything in here that's particularly like great and that's too expensive yeah, I don't have I don't have truly disposable income all right I think we're gonna hire Captain Curtis here. is yeah ballistic 10 of 10 yeah these are pretty good okay for a dedicated gunner yeah yes I am are you. <laughs> okay, hopefully having a better pilot will also help things out too. Yeah, that that mech sucks. All right, so let's go here. Let's just check out what the cantina is. Maybe we could do the cantina missions that are here. And then if not, what I'll do is I'll pause real quick, go downstairs, probably switch out some water. And then we'll do the first part of the DLC. Oh my god, we got more of these. Oh, three month warning. Yep, nope, that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to miss that. Let's see. Sure, for the 50,000. Those are cheap enough. Those actually aren't bad. I don't see a double heat sink, but we look anyway. I don't see anything particularly good here. Mech market. Oh, we're good here. All right. Well, that is what it is. Three days. Good. We've we've done what we can with that. Let's take a look at the cantina. I don't have a griffin, so it doesn't matter. We might have these and we can get a tier four LRM 20 SRM tier four, huh? SRM. Wait, what was that again? Shit. I forgot. SRM two tier four. SRM 2, Tier 4. Oh my goodness, scroll. 2, Tier 4. Oh, I'm one shy. I am one shy. Fuck. Like, oh no, I'm too shy. I'm too shy. Well, I mean, we could do that, but meh. If, if we had it there, we would have done it, but no. We're better off just keeping these. Because I could have gotten rid of the kill three Marauder mechs. 
We actually haven't run into any Marauders since I grabbed it. We had been seeing a few of them up until that point. But whatever. We'll, we'll be able to do these plenty. We will have plenty of these. Okay. Let's let's accept the priority. 81 days to accept. Yep, we will accept this. We are good to go. We'll depart in just one second. All right, chat. Give me two two minutes here. Uh, Phil just gave me 5% off for asking. Wait, they had a customer support pop up, so I thought I'd be cheeky to ask for a discount code. Nice. I was buying a game for a key set. Oh, well, that's always cool. You know, you would... That's a lesson... Uh, as if you had there, you would, you have no idea. Number one, you don't know until you ask. And sometimes just being nice and asking, it costs nothing. And you never know what can happen. <laughs> so that's always nice. Um, all right. All right, Jack, give me two seconds. Let's hope for better here. And I will be right back with some water refill. Yeah, my throat was feeling a little scratchy there. I think I very wisely switched to uh, water. Uh, all right. Let's depart. Um, let's also switch to the game here. Okay, Commander. So <laughs> hey, Ghosty, how are you? Yeah, this has been the lame... This has been... This has definitely been the lame stream. And I'm hydrating as we speak. Why, thank you for... Thank you for... Thank you for redeeming all of the things. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should have just called this the lame stream. We tried playing E6, couldn't get it to work right. Uh, fired up MechWarrior instead, got my ass kicked. So yeah, it's been it's been great so far. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. So yeah, I'm uh, glad to see you accepted our offer to participate in Operation Galahad. Uh, Hans Davian had personally hoped that you would join us for this operation. I'm not sure how much you remember of your father's services with the Federated Sons, but Nix Cavaliers once participated in the first Prince's successful raid on Halstead Station back in 3013. Now, mind you, that was three years before the start of the campaign. We started in 3016, serving alongside a few companies from the Crater Cobras. From what I'm told by the Department of Mercenary Relations, you've done an exemplary job carrying on his legacy. For Operation Galahad, Hans would like to see your unit and the Crater, Cro Crater Cobras rather reunited to participate in one of our planned joint exercises with the LCAF. In addition to your standard payouts upon completion of the war games, the Federated Sons is also willing to pay for all travel and repair expenses incurred during these exercises. Which is awesome. <laughs> We've charted a jump ship to take you directly to your assigned system, uh, Avigate. I will be there personally to act as your director of the Avigate war games. Prepare your forces, then head to the nearest jump point. I'll brief you on your mission once you arrive on site. Hm, holy frame drops there, Batman. <laughs> yeah, slightly different jump ship animation for the uh, for the DLC here. So greetings, Ghosty. Welcome. I hope. Actually, I'll extend that to everybody. I hope everybody's week is going well. I think we said that earlier, but may as well repeat it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> now we got more transmissions over here. Why do we have more transmissions? Project Cold Snap. Okay. 
Our ISF intelligence has surfaced rumors that Steiner forces are planning an attack on a remote research complex belonging to the Crosby Battle Mech and Mimer research firm in the Kajikazo star system. It's home to a project known as Project Cold Snap, an experimental endeavor to develop Mech Mimer that's designed to withstand extreme weather conditions. It seems that House Steiner's not too happy with the thought of the dragon gaining enhanced technology that would better our already superior battle mech forces. So we are tasking you with assisting the ISF battle mech defenders with clearing out hostile forces should House Steiner be foolish enough to attack our facility. Be warned, while the extreme weather of the planet is beneficial for our testing purposes, it will make combat a dangerous undertaking. But we'll get double heat sinks, good. We'll get an LRMS, an LRM 20 plus Artemis. Yeah, we are definitely gonna accept Project Cold Snap. All right, mission briefing time. Welcome to Avigate, Commander. <laughs> the formation of the Federated Commonwealth will unite House Steiner and House Davian militaries into a single centralized army. Operation Galahad will serve as a wide-reaching series of war games across multiple systems, which will act as a joint training exercise between forces of the AFFS and the LCAF. While many of these war games will be pitting the AFFS and the LCAF against one another, we also want to train in a series of joint exercises combining the AFFS and LCAF forces into a unified FEDCOM coalition. This is where you'll come in, Commander. For Galahad's Avigate Games, FEDCOM coalition forces will be executing a joint operation attempting to destroy a decommissioned orbital defense system. You and the Cater, Crater Cobras, rather, have been assigned to act as the defenders of the installation. Your tasks will be to destroy the invading coalition forces and prevent the destruction of the orbital defense system. We'll see you in the field, Commander. Give us a good fight. And we could abort the campaign at any time, but we're going to continue. All right. So anyway, we prepared with uh, Colonel Westrick and the, his Cabra Cobras. Your objective is to work together to defend the decommissioned orbital defense system that will act as the FedCom coalition's target for this war game. While the FedCom uh, will pay for any repairs needed, be mindful that this scenario will only end when one side achieves their objective, regardless of how many sorties you may need to participate in before one side achieves their objective. Perfect. So damage coverage we don't are we don't need to worry about. <laughs> they are going to fully insure us for damage coverage, which is awesome. So yeah, let's let's try and make some money. But we also we we need salvage in a very very fucking desperate way. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's that got its ass kicked. It's is very sad. Very 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 sad. You'll go in the Orion this time. Okay. Freeman, you should be okay in that awesome. In that awesome. However, Juarez, you have failed me for the last time. <laughs> God damn. This should be good. Let's go with this. Ooh, that's a sneeze brewing. Exercise. Our Federated Commonwealth Coalition forces are tasked with assaulting and destroying the facility guarded by the mercenary defenders. This war game will end in a Commonwealth victory with the fall of the targeted facility and a mercenary victory with the elimination or capture of the FedCom Coalition's commanding officers. Good luck, everyone. This operation will commence now. So we have to defend this. Joined in this operation by Richard Westrick and his Crater Cobra's mercenary company. Be sure to assist one another whenever possible. The FedCom coalition forces are going to be hungry to impress Marshal Sortek, seeing as how he is the commander of the Davion Heavy Guards and a good friend of First Prince Hans Davion. So if I go down here, I can get back up here. I like the high ground here. <laughs> I think that's going to miss. Yeah, there's terrain in the way or something. I actually kept target lock for a while. We're going to lose target lock in a, in a little bit. Yep. New target panther. Yeah, we're going to oh, We got somebody coming in this way. Let's go check it out. Deal with that rifle, rifleman. 
We're gonna lose target lock on that. Oh, no, we're not. Perf oh, damn it. The second I'm like, oh, maybe not. <laughs> then we do. Let's try that again. Westrick has those guys. Let's deal with this. Nice kill, Commander. We're on your target, Commander. Burn that down. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it in a second. Nope, Westrick's forces are keeping the target lock. Perfect. Perfect, we got that Warhammer. You. I'm going to lose you in a second. Yeah, I'm going to lose you. Let's go reposition over here. While I cool off. Yeah, let's deal with this fucking scorpion light tank. Westrick's got that, Mac. He can handle the, the scorpion. I want to make sure nothing's coming out of our six over here. If there's a tank, there might be something with it. Fortunately, the stalker just takes a while. Nope, we didn't. Take another shot at you. Up. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> We're not going to hit that even if I shoot. Forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. As soon as that fucker. Come on. Oh. Let's deal with it. Target received. Yep. Engaging. Deal with that Griffin. We're gonna engage that. That's our responsibility. Enemy territory. Actually, we're just gonna hang out over here. Good. You got that tank already? Nice job, guys. Oh, no. That tank is... Oh. We got this tank. We got that tank. Oh, my God. That tank didn't... It's... Okay, there it is. Still far away. That's the range. Barely in range there. And that's the last VTOL. Okay, let's cool off. I want you guys focusing on that. We've got long range weapons. We can. That blackjack can hurt us at long range. So we definitely want to take out the fire control mech. fucked up there. Oh yeah, that definitely needs to get destroyed. We can't let that get near our allies. I'm just going to continue to pump LRMs into that fucking thing. <laughs> Good, we got it. Next up. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that panther. Westra can handle the panther. Or the blackjack. No, that's a panther. Yeah, that's a panther over there. Panther. Fuck. Whoa, whoa. New Damn. A 
I thought I could kill it. I did. It just took longer than I wanted. Pull off. Pull off. Where is it? Mech destroyed. Good job, guys. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. Target acquired. Yeah. System oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Got another one. Thank you, Freeman, for ke for catching up my slack here. Yeah, I knew I was gonna. That was gonna be my only shot for a bit. They can't target me from here, so I'm just gonna hang out. Take out that VTOL from all the way over here. Perfect. Yeah, then. What's next? We only have three more targets to deal with. There we go. Coordinated attack target received. We got this. These are the last ones. This Centurion in the tank. Ooh. But you're dead. <laughs> Although there are the area we were supposed to defend took a couple of licks. Fuck yeah, Westrick, let's do it. So that worked a lot better. So we defended the orbital cannons just fine. Actually, we made really nice work out of that, but it didn't hurt. hurt well, it didn't hurt that the Steiner and Davian forces weren't really coordinating particularly well. Yes, I will just take a blatant Centurion. Thank you. Bradford, what the fuck were you doing that whole time? <laughs> All right, I obviously have to look at the weapon loadout for that Orion. It is clearly, it needs to be looked at. Let's take a look at that. Why were you so bad? <clears throat> So let's let's try that maybe you'll do a better job now Centurion's going into cold storage for sure uh, I think this is just standard fare nothing completely crazy yeah. and mech market I'm not going to see anything Particularly interesting. Wow, that's actually a pretty long list of mechs we could buy here. Shit. None of these are on our collect list, of course. Do we have a collect list? No, we don't have a collect list. We just have a kill list. Sweet. <laughs> so yeah, now we've got uh, our uh, mercenary friend giving us the mission instead. So, Commander, beating those uncoordinated highborn whelps back was easy to do with their battlefield infighting, but we should continue to press our momentum against them while we have it. With their pride on the line, I doubt that either Colonel Zax or Marshal Davian will make the same mistake twice. The next time we face them, I'm willing to bet that their desire to beat us will push aside any grievances they have with each other. If I've learned anything from my years fighting for these highborns, it's that when faced with adversity, they tend to vastly overcompensate for their failures. The next time we face them, they will most likely pull all remaining forces together to beat us back now that we have superior numbers on them. But kicking their ass in a straight-up fight isn't our mission. Eliminating their commander, Aiden Sortek, is. If I take the greater whole of my cobras and move on their command, uh, move on their commander uh, command center's position from the east, they'll be forced to come out and face me, which will leave Colonel Sortek open for a surgical strike from your lance. 
I've provided possible locations for the Coalition's headquarters to Rihanna. Take Sortek out, then fall back. The scenario should end if we're able to take him out with Draw in One Piece. Let the Cobras buy you the time we need to finish this and take these high and mighty nobles down a peg. Yep, we're going to do that. Continue. And I think we'll do the same thing. We'll do 2 million, and then we'll do salvage the entire... Oh, well, that's as much salvage as I can get. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Aw, oh, fuckers. Alright, so... We took fairly minimal damage, though. We took fairly minimal damage. Fuck it. Yeah, they don't let us repair these. So I guess the question is... Alright, I'm taking... I'm going to continue to take the Stalker, because that is virtually undamaged. Not a whole lot of armor missing off that. You've got a decent armor, amount of armor missing. But I still think that's going to be okay. But fuck it. Let's... Let's go in with the Warhammer instead. You know what? We'll do... Okay. You know what? I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Yep. Uh... You... Or hammer. Yeah, we'll switch that up so that the Orion. Oh no, the Orion. Yeah, no. You're gonna go in with the Warhammer. That'll be fine. In fact, so the what 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 Seraph is thinking here, just to so it's clear what the purpose of all that shuffling back around. Typically, the pilot, the AI pilot in this role in this fourth slot, will tend to be more long range than the others. So I tend to want to put in the mech that has tag in this second roll. And then this ends up being a good skirmisher. And then this is typically an LRM boat, like an archer or a stalker of something or something of that nature. And so that's that's kind of where the thought process is. So yeah, we're gonna launch. <laughs> we didn't we didn't repair. We're doing a multiple mission operation here. Essentially. Okay, Commander. Seems with the opposition reeling from their failed assault. Our new mission is to find and destroy the Coalition Field Commanders. The Crater Cobras will act as a diversionary force to draw the main Coalition forces away. This should give us an opening to take out Coalition Field Commanders. Okay, so that's going to be the first one. We may as well do this because it's here. And I think it's random. What's up with, uh, sorry, I freaked out. What was that Cam uh, camo that didn't load properly? Oh, yeah, the paint scheme. Yeah, Seraph's just not very good at painting mechs. Come on, get out of the way, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> we were going to play E6, but uh, it didn't load properly, unfortunately. So we're playing Mech Warrior 5 instead. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It just didn't work out. I just couldn't get it to... I couldn't get the opening cinematics to display. Instead, it was just like this weird, very compressed, shrunk down thing. There we go. Managed to get it. That's okay. I'll figure it out later. Either that or I'll have to get my PS2 emulator working. And of course, the uh, PS2 emulator didn't work either. My, I, I felt comfortable because I thought I had a backup plan. I, turns out I did not have a good backup plan. Stupid turrets. That's all right. Had the rest of Metroid. Uh, had the rest of Metroid 2 go. 
Did you get the 100% completion in the time you wanted? Come on. Seriously, tank? Bold strategy, just charging a tank. Just charging my position. Alright, well, it wasn't here. But we'll get this thing. Probably gonna be more in the foliage. Got 100%. An hour 45. Nice. Very, 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 very nice. Birds keep forming. Oh. Turrets keep opening up behind me. Target destroyed. Oh. They've got a very annoying spawn pattern. But so far it's like essentially uh, ants trying to fight an elephant. Even though they're kind of being pests, we're still making mincemeat out of this whole thing. So that's good. Finally, one spawned, like, in front of me. I didn't have to just turn around. Ugh. Of course, I say that. And we have this asshole. Damn it. Fine. Use LRMs against the turret. Fuck it. <laughs> I should have plenty of ammo. Yeah, fighting in this jungle is a little bit of an adventure. Yeah, knowing my luck, it's going to be in the most south one, and we're going to have to go through all of these first. So let's get some coverage here. I don't see anything. Man, that thunder is uh, pretty crazy. Man, these fuckers could come out of the woodwork anywhere. Speaking of which, nice job, Bradford. Let's go around this hill and then up that way to whatever that fucking thing is. Looks like there's a structure of some kind over there. Burn that tree down. One of my mechs is getting lost. That never happens. Thank you, Freeman. That's actually a good route that Freeman took. No, it's not here. Uh, we could go up that way. I don't know if I like that idea, because the terrain, we're going to be really sandwiched if we just kind of go up this way. I don't... That looks like a... Yeah, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. We're going to go around. It's a little bit of an extra walk, but at least this way, they're not going to be able to just tee off on us. That looked like it was going to be a shooting gallery. I don't... We don't do shooting galleries. Did we destroy whatever was in there? Yeah, I probably did destroy what was ever, whatever was in there. Oh, we got a battle mech. You. You have a battle mech to worry about. And it's a light mech. It's probably a locust. But still... Feeling. 
Made short work of that little fucker. Nice shot. Wow, my lance is actually doing their jobs for once. Kind of nice. wonder what that building is. But not worth it. Yeah. I'm actually impressed. Instead of frustrated with them. I know it's in there somewhere. We got it that time. Couldn't really see the turret in there, but at least it showed up on scopes. Well, so we still had a shooting gallery, but at least this one wasn't as long. We did have to overcome a little bit of a skirmish over here. Two mechs and four tanks, along with two VTOLs. But nothing we can't handle. Process of elimination. Commander Sortex up here. We know he's up here. Let's go get him. Burn these things down first. A turret's coming out of that. We know a turret's coming out of that. Fine, maybe not. Oh, nope, never mind. Shit. Do a very good job of that. Fuck, here they come. Come on. Damn it. I'm doing a shit job of hitting its head. There it is. There we go. Come on, Seraph, get that head. Shit. Someone got him. That takes care of Sortek, but Marshal Davion is still en route to our position. It's time for us to withdraw from this area before we get overrun. Colonel Westrick, we are drawing the Crucis Lancers away from your position. You should now be able to overwhelm the Coalition forces at your location. Roger, Rihanna. Thanks for the heads up. Cobras, let's finish this. It was worth it to destroy the tank. <laughs> Kablooey, that's right. Here they come. Problem is I'm overheating like a freaking sauna here. Yeah, we'll just go center torso here. Out of you. Let's go behind the building here, get some cover. <sighs> really fucked up that mech. Wow, you're still alive? Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Come on. 
twist, twist. All right, you guys have got that one. I'll deal with whatever the fuck this is. Okay. There's our pickup zone. Oh, we gotta go over there. I don't wanna do that. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, guys. You should be able to kill that one turret. Oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> we didn't even have to fight that. But they showed up, and so we did. <laughs> Plus, they're paying our damage bills. So, at this point, fuck it. We don't have anything irreplaceable on these mechs now. It's not like before where we had that really nice Agincourt that got cored with pulse lasers and a Guardian ECM suite that, you know, we can't buy. <laughs> I still can't believe that fucking mech. It's been... That mech is 0 for 2 for missions. That's crazy to me. That is crazy to me. I can't believe we've deployed that mech twice. And it's gotten cored both times. Right? Did that thing get cored both times? Or did we succeed in one mission with it? We might have succeeded in one mission, actually, now that I think about it. But I think... But I'm pretty sure it's 0 for 2. At the very least, it's... It, even benefit of the doubt, it's 1 out of 3. That's... That's terrible. Those are... That's a terrible performance. Nobody else showing up? Nope, we wiped the field. <laughs> Mission accomplished. But those two missions worked out pretty well. All in all, much better. So yeah, we'll take the Panther. Yes, we will take a gauze rifle. Yes. Yes, please and thank you. <laughs> We're definitely... Oh, I should take the gauze ammo too. Shit. All right, yeah. Yeah, we already have two Panthers. Fuck it. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I'll take a pulse laser. Take gauze ammo. I think there was another gauze ammo down here later. Yep, we'll take that gauze ammo. All right. Other than that, we'll just take the best of the tiered weapons now. Well, all right, fine. Let's we'll take this shit. Serum six. Ten medium lasers. All righty then. And yeah, we took some damage there, but nothing crazy. Congratulations on the superb performance, Commander. You've given me plenty of data to go over with Colonel Zax and Marshal Davian. The future Federated Commonwealth thanks you for your contributions in preparing us for our eventual unification. I'll get right to the point, Commander. House Davian has a number of long-term mercenary contracts set to open up a year from now in 3028. First, Prince Hans Davian tapped you in the crater Krobas to participate in these games to evaluate the state of your unit's recovery after taking heavy losses on Halstead Station back in 2013. Not to mention your father's death and near destruction of your unit two, later, two years later on DeBerry. Very few mercenary operations ever recover from such a catastrophic loss. While the Cobras appear to have fully recovered, your unit seems, seems to still be in the midst of recovery after the DeBerry incident. I want to formally say to you that House Davian is interested in offering your unit a long-term service contract provided that your mercenary company continues to recover and grow into a unit that can field multiple lances worth of mechs and pilots by the time your contracts come up in 3028, preferably one with around 10 combat-ready mechs. We'll be sure to make it very worth your while. Again, we're looking for a unit that can field multiple lances of mechs and pilots in a year's time, so keep growing and keep an eye out for our offer in 3028 uh, when the 2038 contracts open up. Until then, Commander, good luck. So in my experience, you don't really need multiple lances of, of mechs to do the DLC. But depending on how much damage you take, it can be very helpful to have those mechs just in case your, your contracts are a problem. So yeah, we're here. 
We have a number of things now. Okay. So, good. So we've got this one mission we could do over... What's going on? Objective logs. Okay. So we got Project Cold, Sla Cold Snap over here. Uh, well, we could get a Marauder. Which one's that one? All right. So maybe this would be the time to do the this mission that nets us a Marauder. That actually is probably not the worst idea since we're already over here. That really might not be that really might not be the worst the worst thing. Maybe we should do that. Good grief. Okay. Mm, yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. In the meantime, let's repair you. Let's repair you. Yep. Take a hundred percent longer, but whatever. None of these mechs got all that damaged, so we don't really care about the time. Um, it's not all that more expensive. Now we can repair this one, for sure. And then we'll bring that back into the fold. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this one. It'll take us 80 days to get there. And then we'll be good. Ah, uh, good grief. We did at least get one gener out of all that. Wow, and we managed to perk our way through like half of these. So that was pretty sweet. Equipment. Yeah, there's not anything good here. It's gonna be just shit. Oh, this is going to be easy. Okay, we're getting hired by the Torian Concordat to go after pirates. Okay, attack the Davian garrison on Montor. We need you to collect data on the enemy forces while destroying a number of their units. <laughs> so yeah, spoiler alert, they're pirates. They're not Davian. <laughs> uh, this being the case, we'll take sal some salvage, but I think we're primarily we're going to just take money here. Good, we've recovered financially too. That is huge, because now I can pay for the... Uh, ad um, Adigan court to get repaired. Thankfully. Good grief. Fucking A, man. <laughs> Fucking mech has taken so much damage. And I think I paid like three million to get it repaired the first time. I think it even may have cost me a similar amount the second time. This fucking mech is the most expensive mech I've ever had. Online. All systems Minister Vandenberg has called for an investigation into rumors of deviant troop buildups in the Vertigris system. We are contracting you to prod deviant defenses at the Mark's nav point while we collect data I did on hit the it. regional defenses of the nice. area. While your contract only calls for a certain number of units to be destroyed. The Concordant is willing to offer performance bonuses if you neutralize additional Davian defenders. We have friendlies under assault from hostile forces. Link up with them and hold off the enemy advance as long as possible. Yeah, we're gonna try and get to it. I gotta get to the frickin' Jager mech here. There we go. Yeah, this mech is not going to last long. Oh, I thought I was going to kill that mech. Did that time. Goodbye. Wow. These fucking idiots managed to get themselves killed. Son of a bitch. They were a fucking mech, too. That was a mech and like two tanks, and that they allowed that Jager mech to kill them. That sucks so much. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go up to the high ground here, and let's see what we can find. Missile platform. Man, we got ourselves a nice tank. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll just go up on high ground, take out as many things from long range as we can. Because we don't need to defend that base, it's a war zone. We just fuck up as many as we can. I think I killed that tank. Nope. Now I killed the tank. 
Okay, we know there's a tank over there. Hey, it's a serum carrier. Yeah, fucker. Let's get more. Let's get higher. Did I somehow... Did that spread of LRMs happen to land on the tank anyway? That'd be pretty cool. Okay, up here... We could see them from farther away. And we've got some pretty... Our mechs are in... Uh, have really good configurations for uh, long-range assaults. So if all goes well... Oh, come on! Why do you keep losing target lock? Oh, here come these VTOLs. Damn it. There's the rest of them. Good. I'm a little irritated that I've shot at that SRM carrier twice now and we weren't able to hit it each time because of weird target lock bullshit. Come on, go within 400 meters of me, you motherfucker. Then I can hit you. Yeah, you can hit me from here. Maybe I should close. Now I can hit you. More LRMs. Go parallel. Switching up. An SRM carrier is still a problem. Let's go over here and deal with it. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. And I want to make sure I stay far away from that. I don't even want to get within shooting distance of that carrier. That suits me just fine. Yeah, well, that's a problem. Hey, okay, we shot at that. Now we got to deal with this shit. Come on. Got it. Good. You guys are going after it. But I want. Whoops. Probably gonna. Good. Wow, I hit that with there. That was nice. Alright, so where's this fucker? Yep. There they come. Returning fire. Nope, I'm out of range. Now we got a flea. All right, you guys go after the flea. I'll deal with this shit. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Let's close to this. So it's four on one. You guys already destroy that? Nice. New target. Vindicator. Rod target engaged. Damn, I didn't think you'd be able to hit me from there with that. At the very least, the terrain should keep you from being able to hit me with that PPC. You've satisfied the terms of your contract, Commander. Nice, let's get the hell out of here. We'll pay out combat bonuses for every Federation unit eliminated on our behalf. Not bad. Well, we'll need to analyze your battle computer after you return. It does not immediately appear that any house units are present in this system. Only the local militia. Return to your dropship once you're ready. Let's kill some of these That's tanks for some extra money. Need, Commander. Stay as long as you like. The pickup is available at the extraction site when you're ready. Let's do it. Of course, we gotta get line of sight to these fucking tanks. I think they're gonna take their sweet time. Yeah, I'm not firing. I'm gonna lose target lock before the missiles get there. Yep, I would have. Should be over here. Damn. Okay, got that tank. There's two more. Shit, really? 
Fuck, fuck, fuck. God, it was worth it. <laughs> Even if I had shut down, that would have been worth it. I did not want that thing opening fire, opening fire on me. Anyway, so we just made an extra cool 50,000 sea bills. Works for me. Wonder how much money we can extra money we can make on this. Wonder if this is pre-dawn or sunset or post-sunset. This looks like pre-dawn to me. Should have more horses coming in, but they are taking their sweet time, aren't they? That's all right. It takes us a while to get to the evac zone. It is nice that we could just go to the evac zone whenever we want, though. Ah, there they are. Dropship, huh? So we got mechs. Back up, back up. Oh, fuck. Now I'll worry about the... assholes. What's coming our way? Yeah, LRM 20, LRM carrier. Well, I think we'll go towards our evac zone at this stage. Back away here. Don't see anything else on the scope? Got another one. Oh, something did show up over there. Just in case it hits it, I don't think it will. But we could try. Yep. Although at least in that case it hit the fucking mountain. That doesn't make me feel as bad. Problem is this LRM-20 carrier, as soon as it's within range of me, <laughs> I'm in range of it. I'm definitely going to have to be careful there. I don't want to be walking into that. That will do damage to me. Fuck it. Let's try. We got it. <laughs> I think we're good. Fuck it. This is taking too long. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. Depends what they are, I guess. It is nice to make a little extra money. Let's at least have good range. Eh, fuck it. We'll do this. We'll skirmish a little bit more. The mechs are going to get here way before those tanks. I just have to be careful not to get there. Repositioning. You guys go in there. You should see the mechs. There we go. Convenient that they show up just in time. God damn it. I mean, I guess I should give them credit for coordinating that. But I don't think, uh... I don't think they're... Fucking trebuchet. Get with this one now. It's four on one. We should just eviscerate this fucker. We've got 
LRMs. So I want to stay within... We've done enough here. Let's get the hell out. Made a nice little extra money. Got paid two million C bills and then made an extra, like, basically free 300,000 on top of that. And got closer to our cantina missions. Yeah, we'll go with that, we'll go with that, and then one more, huh? Alright, medium laser short burst. Looks good. Okay, perfect. We got our Igor units. Sweet. Now we got a really nice target acquisition gear. Ah, yes. Now we've got the better anchor turn. Worth it. Okay. This is an interesting development, Mercenary. We analyzed your battle computer and sifted through the remains of the mechs you downed. Something strange in that the hostiles on Montour don't seem to fit the description of the Davian Regiment. It now appears po uh, possible that the enemy force was not actively belonging to a Davian battle company, but a band of marauding pirates that disguised themselves as Federation forces. The Torian Ministry of Intelligence has tracked the group back to the world of uh, Badlands, better known as Pirate's Haven. The Torian Guard have been activated and will travel to Pirate's Haven to bring justice to those cowards who would dare provoke us. We want you to join the Torian Guard and assist them in neutralizing this mystery force. Whether they are Davian or Pirate in origin, make sure none of them miss their date with the Executioner. <laughs> okay. You got it, buddy. Oh, uh, we can't repair mechs here. Fuck. Oh wow, that's a problem. All right, let's uh, let's see. <laughs> that is a problem. Yeah, I didn't realize that shit. Granted, my mechs really aren't all that damaged. So what I could do? Here's what I could do. I could just. Bring the, I could just go hop in the Warhammer, shelve the Stalker, because that, that that took a lot of damage. The rest of these, yeah, the Orion even took a little bit of damage. Not thrilled with how much damage the Orion took. But I could put this uh, Hero Archer back in its place. And just ride out with the Warhammer. And see how it goes. Alright, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's YOLO this. Fuck it. The alternative is to travel a really long way to a conflict zone or an industrial hub, repair, and then travel all that way. I think, I think just sub swap swapping out a mech and just going in with slightly damaged mechs is okay. Take a look at our cantina here. Collect three electronic. I think we actually have these. I don't have a crab mech. Six AC2 tier fours. There's no way I've got that. But I might have this. Take a look. This is everything that I have. Uh, so we're looking at equipment here. I think I have picked up a few of those. Just because I knew um, that I might need those. The question just is where. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't. Oh, you know what I did? I bought black marker countermeasures, not the EW. Fuck. That sucks. Can I buy them? It would be nice if I could buy them. Yeah, we're not going to use that. Shit. Okay, well, I can't do any of these right now. So I guess the question is, do I grab this one just in the, in, in the possibility of being able to get it later? Hmm. Or do I do this collect crab mechs and just try to get a crab later? We try to get a crab. Should be able to do that. I feel like I should be able to do that. Although I don't want this result. Like, yeah. These kind of suck. These actually all suck. They're all pretty terrible. Collect a crab mech. That's bullshit. <sighs> But a crab is fairly common. Fuck it. Let's accept this one for now. I can always abandon it later. 
Now we'll do campaign. <laughs> oh, I could repair these now, though, can't I? Yep, I'm in a conflict zone here. I could repair that and just wait the 12 days. Could just wait the 12 days. Let's wait the 12 days. And we'll bring that back in. Cool. Sweet. That's the way to do this. Okay. That is definitely the way to do this. And we will just wait. <laughs> so continue. We'll go with... Yeah, as long as I make it 2 million, I think we're okay with that. And uh, yeah, let's go salvage just in case I pick up a crab. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Are malfunctioning due to the weather, and your visibility on this mission will be compromised as well. Yes, this will do. Ready? Yep, we'll wait. We'll, we'll wait the 12 days until we're ready. We've got this. Oh no, we've got artillery to deal with. Oh, that sucks. Oh man. I didn't know we'd have artillery here. Shit. Oh, that sucks a lot. Right, I'm not in a winter biome anymore. Come on, come on, turn on, turn on. I'm going to be a target of fucking artillery. Yep, I just did. Oh, wow. I'm somehow not a target of artillery there. Thank you. Let's get up and deal with that artillery. Nice shot. Yeah, this is a really hot biome. I really got to be careful of my heat over here. Thankfully, that was just a swarm of really light mechs. Wow, this map looks awesome. Granted, this is not my first time on this map, but I for, like kind of sometimes forget how awesome some of the maps look sometimes. Yeah, I had to. I was about to fall off. Yeah. Yeah, back away from that artillery. Yeah, come on, guys. Okay, this is happening. Oh, shit, don't. Overheating. Oh, God, and they're dropping more. Shit. Good. Okay. Yeah, we are going to have a problem with those. We're going to have to shoot that when we're over here. Okay. So, this is turning into a fucking adventure. And, of course, most of our quote-unquote help is hanging out near the entrance. Because, of course, they are. God forbid they should fucking help. Bastards. Oh, and you've got flamers. That sucks a lot. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to deal with this artillery, man. Okay, we got that. forward. Ugh. I hate artillery so much. Yeah, I know, I know. You guys just get free shots because I have to avoid the fucking artillery. Damn it. Alright, so this was not a great mission to bring fucking the stalker that overheats like a motherfucker. Let's... No, tar... No...
time. Well, we fucking lit him up. Alright, let's get over here and deal with this artillery. Not overheat too much. Alright, so let's get the hell over the... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, I'm taking damage here. Can't do it. Can't avoid it. Yeah, this mech is just too fucking slow for a map with artillery on it. Now we can target that. Fire. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh shit. Come on, man. Come on. Thank you. Where is it? Where is it? Where can I find it? Oh, there it is. Nice job. All right, let's 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 get away from those mechs. <laughs> Even though they're light, let's just get the hell off of that. Let's deal with these artillery over here. Backtrack. No, guys, I'm running to you. Stay where you are. Ugh. Oh, they're dealing with other mechs that came over there. Fair enough. Speed up. There we go. Got away from it. Good. You deal with those assholes. The enemy are deploying still more reinforcements. Add one more to my kill count. Got two of those. Oh my god, are you serious? I ran away from that drop because I didn't want to... Shit. Ugh. All right. Once we get rid of the artillery, though, then we can actually have a much more fair fight. Ow. Damn it. God, I hate artillery. That one. Yeah, okay. Obviously, I have to deal with that. Oh, fuck. We've got more fucking VTOLs? Shit. Damn it. So many of these assholes. Of course, I can't shoot. God damn it. To hell. Oh. All right, well, I still managed to get that one. No! Damn it, why didn't it get the target lock on time? Uh, man, I'm really having a hard time with this. Oh, are you kidding me? Got it. Where are the rest of those artillery cannons? Jesus. Yeah, they're fucking up my Orion. Something awful. At least deal with that. Right. Damn. There's so many of them. Ugh, this fucking artillery keep wreaking havoc on us. Mm. What are the Torians doing? Like, what is that mech even doing? The one I'm looking at. Like, I'm coming up this way to try to get the artillery out of here. Good grief. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Now that I've got my heat under control, of course it shoots at me. It's got the entire field in front of it, but it shoots at me. <laughs> and as long as one artillery cannon is still on the field, the artillery functions the same in throughout the, throughout the map. It's not like the artillery gets less the more guns you take out. 
It's just artillery is active on this map until you destroy all the guns. I guess we destroyed all the things before we could get rid of all the artillery. My god. Yeah, it looks like that's the end of that. Alright. It's fine. <sighs> no crabs. Yeah, we'll take... I guess we'll take a Thunderbolt, sure. Wow, they had an Ultra Autocannon 5? I still think we gotta take... We gotta take the Thunderbolt. It's a fucking heavy mech. We take it. Good, at least we're getting skill ups here. Ah, you lost an arm. Oh, you lost a Autocannon. That's why. That'll happen. All right, but at least we did this. We got a really good tier SRM-4. Good. Fortified internal structure. We're getting these. Yeah, Treasure Hunter and Warthog we have not had much of a problem with. Mech Collector is just really fucking hard. <laughs> Fortunately, I mean, missile damage would be really nice for some mechs, but all, all things considered, like... Although minus five heat generation, that adds up. If we could do the reduced heat spikes, that would be really cool. But for the most part, these aren't all that critical. The weapon cooldown is nice. The plus 10 heat capacity is nice. But uh, the top speed is the best one. That's the one we really want. The plus 15 top speed. So War Dog is still the most important one we're doing. <sighs> Fuck Christ. Yeah, you lost. Oh, no, you didn't lose. Oh, you just lost an arm and an SRM-4. That's eh, not that big a deal but that's still going to be expensive to repair. So let's not do that here. We'll repair you. We probably still have another mission of this shit to do. We're repair oh yeah, we're repairing you. So let's find out what this view transmission is. All right. We took some POWs from your last attack, subjected to the, some advanced interrogation techniques. The pirate forces were indeed making it appear like they were Davian forces preparing to stage an attack on us. It seems like they were attempting to coax us into a war with Davian forces in an attempt to make Torian worlds easier targets to plunder. Something that almost happened if we did not possess our trademark Torian discipline. <laughs> the remaining forces have retreated to an area of Pirate's Haven known as the Black Cliffs, a labyrinth network of tall canyons that are impossible to scout or assault by air. We'll need to descend into the labyrinth by mech and clear them out all at once. Continue to assess the Torian guard to make sure no one escapes our marshal's justice. Yeah, we're probably going to have to fucking deal with even more. Actually, do I have two cicada mechs? I might have two cicadas. No, I don't have a single cicada. But, they were throwing a bunch of those at us. So yeah, we'll we'll take that. Ooh, and we got some good machine guns out of that. So yeah, let's take, let's take that and let's try. We're already repairing these. Yes. Oops. Campaign. Dire circumstances. Alright, so let's continue. And we'll go with our minimum, about 2 million sea bills, and we'll do salvage the rest of the way, hoping that we can get Cicada mechs. We will take that. The Orion isn't even going to be concerned, because I'm just going to swap it out for the Warhammer. Okay, mission starts in 17 days. That's fine. We can wait 17 days. This is not time sensitive. Let's fucking do it! Would help if I write it up, wouldn't it? Boom. Please, no artillery. Please, no artillery. Yes, no artillery. <laughs> of course, I'm not making my own life any easier. What I should have done is, as soon as I saw it was artillery, I should have just switched to any of the other mechs that go faster. That was stupid on my part. Let's do this. We will 
need to go in and flush them out with mechs and armor. Strike forces will be divided up by lance and advance through one of these many entrances. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. In. Support each other. My stupid can. nose itched. But be sure to cover your own entryway and ensure no pirate oh. forces escape the justice of the Taria Defense Force. Got another one. It's not bad of you, shithead. Man. Man, I don't know why my nose is freaking itching like that. That's crazy. Ah, some got me first. Nope. Fuck. Come on. Give me a shot. Good job, guys. Right. What are we doing again? Assassin. Pretty much we're just killing mechs here. Of course, these tunnels are terrible to fight in. Oh, ho, ho. there we go. Seraph, nice shot. Man, ow. That is heinously itchy. Hey, sure, guys. Just stand around. You know, it's cool. Ah. Uh, wow, I still managed to get it? That's amazing. Yeah, the VTOLs are really devastating here. There might still be another one up there. Alright, I'm liking that. Oof. At least here, we might be able to see them from a decent distance. But yeah, we just gotta kind of like, you know, sniff them out. I hear it. Damn it. Got that one at least. Of course, we still have that asshole. He's gonna show up in a second. Maybe you got the shot on him. I'm gonna assume you guys got them. You're not gonna show me where they landed, are you? Of course not. Why would you do that? Oh, it's back. But somebody shot it down. There we go, yes. Actually, show me... Oh, okay, we got VTOLs coming in. Yeah, if I had a good ballistic weapon, I could uh, hit them from here. What are you guys doing? Quit running away and shoot them. Twist. Thank you. Mm. Twist already. Thank you. The enemy Got him. Still more Good. Share target identified. Here to stop in a second. Doesn't matter. Good job. Stuck? That's nice. Nope, actually, you are stuck. I'm gonna. Ah! You were able to hit me. Come on. Okay, well, fuck it. 
I figured since it was stuck, I may as well at least try to just stay out of its available firing arc. Way. Damn it, I ate something I was allergic to. That's what's going on. on I am so itchy right now. Oh man, that is itchy as hell. Holy fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Kataro. Yeah, you deal with the Kataro. That's the scary thing. That could hurt us. Uh, way. Okay, you guys deal with that. Oof. Back off, back off. Mm. Come on, come on, heat, recycle, right in the back, yes! Fire! Okay, what else we got? Oh. Oof. That might be everything. Nope, there's still more. Oh. We must have probably like one somewhere out. Oh, there's another squad. Yeah, this is probably the best place to deal with them. I got it. Damn it. Of course, he shoots at the one I'm going for. Sorry. And because we all went after the same target, one snuck past, but I think it still got shot down. Nope, it still didn't. Come on, come on. Got it. Couldn't see it, but I could target it. There it is. That's it. That's all she fucking wrote. Sneak away through the smaller caves. Without their mech or armored forces, they should no longer be a significant enough threat to the concordant to warrant our attention. Thank you for your professionalism out there, Commander. We'll be sure to get your unit debriefed and squared away back at headquarters. I think I need to go downstairs and get a brown Benadryl. Oof. Okay, we made two million sea bills and we picked up a cicada. Eh, would have been nice if we could have picked up more than one cicada, but I'll take it. I will take it. In the meantime, yeah, let's grab more LRM 10s. Man, you are definitely having an issue with that. All right, fine. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely take pulse lasers. Replace the pulse lasers I lost. I mean, if these things had pulse lasers, that uh, would have been nice if we'd seen streak ammo. Ooh, I will... Yes! We could replace one of the... Uh, ooh, we could play, replace two of the streaker SRM2s that we lost. Okay. I've got tons of bows. So let's take a look. Yes, give me two streak SRM2s. We'll take ultra auto cannon ammo. No double heat sinks. That's fine. They don't have streak SRM ammo. That kind of sucks. I would have loved streak SRM ammo, but that is what it is. Oof. But we're starting to recover. Maybe we can even repair our freaking Victor Basilisk. Although, boy, we did not. That poor thing also generally got its ass kicked a lot. All right, we'll take one of those. Okay. Good deal. That was great for salvage, man. That was fantastic salvage. And we picked ourselves up a Marauder. And we got 10 Locust Mechs. There's our heavy rifle. Not that we're going to use it, but we'll take it. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. 
Is there a good Cantina one? Uh, kill seven mana core units. Yeah, we may as well. We we find a lot of mana core units. That works out. Okay. Star map. Let's, uh... Wow, that was fucking interesting. Okay. So, yeah, we could just go to this industrial hub. God, we can't even reach it. <laughs> we can't even reach this industrial hub. It might just make sense just to come there. I guess the question is, do I want to go to that industrial hub to try to repair? Or do I want to try making our way over here and finishing off this high reward thing over here? Because we still have till 3028 till uh, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers starts. I'm thinking... I don't remember this industrial hub being particularly interesting. Despite the fact that New Avalon here is the capital of the Federated Suns. But we could still do it and just see what happens. But I think what I would be inclined to do here is let's head over to New Certus. And we'll just travel. And we'll get to an industrial hub in the Capellan Confederation. We'll repair. And then we'll try and do that assassination mission and just hope for the best. Give me two seconds. Let me, uh... Let me find some, uh... <laughs> some antihistamine here. Whew. My goodness. My goodness gracious. This has been uh, advent an adventure. Uh, Hearth Smart Blood Minerals. Uh, that's an interesting weapon. Right. This is an interesting one. Give me two seconds, though. We'll read that in a minute. I will be right back.
All right, everyone. Back to some more <laughs> apparently very mediocre MechWarrior 5 <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> uh, it has been it has been one of those it has been one of those streams, but I want to thank everybody for coming along on the ride. <laughs> I was walking downstairs. I'm like, I cannot believe how wrong everything has gone so far in this stream today. Starting from E6, not even wanting to play. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? Let's just, we'll go to that later. Let's, for now, let's, let's keep things one at a time. Let's, let's deal with things one at a time. Can I get to, oh, I can't even get to this. God damn it. All right. Well, let's go here. Let's travel. So thankfully, we made some money on that one initial Gal Operation Galahad mission, and then we made some other decent coin on that other one. <laughs> well, we just pay to go back and, you know, back up this way. Actually, we got 40, like 40 million sea bills. That's a pretty good chunk of uh, sea bills here. Now we'll go to Buenos Aires. There's a... Uh, cantina and uh yeah with that amount of money i'm almost tempted to go to steiner space and just buying myself a highlander i do usually do pretty well in one of those kill 10 demolisher units collect two javelins we've got that so yeah maybe we should do that because i think i've got two javelins don't i i've got one ja yeah i've got two javelins so let's try and do that okay first things first Let's repair you. Let's load out you. And instead of that tag, we will... Scroll, scroll, scroll. We'll put in the good tag. There we go. Perfect. Repair all. Start. Good. That'll still only take three days. Yep. Repair you. Repair you. Put you over there. Uh, oh, I should have checked them. Well... They, those wouldn't have been a mech market. Anymore. We'll put the Thunderbolt over there. Couldn't be great. Leave. Itchy. Repair all. You're repaired now. Good. <sighs> we got ourselves a Marauder. Nice. Got ourselves a Marauder. Nice little heavy mech. Actually, the Marauder is probably better than the Orion, honestly. Hell, I might even try to give the Marauder a bit of a try. Stupid Agincourt constantly getting cored, though, man. Ugh. I cannot believe that thing got its ass kicked like it did. Twice. Good. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take a look here. Oh, we could buy a Raven. <laughs> we can actually buy a Raven. That's pretty neat. So these, uh, these are new mechs in this setting, and they've got uh, ECM active in it. Um, so they don't have Guardian ECM, but they've got standard electronic warfare countermeasures. So they make, uh, they make for good Lancemate uh, teammates. The problem is they're very light. Now granted, they're very light and they're very fast, so they don't take a lot of damage. Their, their uh, utility solely, really, is in the fact that they are um, slightly difficult to take out. And that they have uh, ECM, but we've got a stalker with ECM, so we're we're in a great shape there. Okay, so we've picked up one cicada. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of the crab. We'll get rid of the crab. Mission. Collect one crab max. Abandon. Yep. Okay, let's go to the cantina. We'll collect two javelin max instead. Let's go here. Job rewards, collect two javelin mechs. Yes, please. Thank you. Good. That's why we keep those. There we go. So now we can uh, we can basically tune a weapons weapons beyond spec for increased damage. Just increase our damage. You know, period. Uh, mech collector. Yep. Plus five weapon damage. That's pretty nice for your the hunt. Like all of your damage, all of your weapons now do an extra little five percent. 
They may not sound like a lot, but especially for weapons that have a high rate of fire or anything else, that plus five adds up real quickly. Yeah, that's that's going to be really nice to have. Let's take a look. Here. Is there anything else that we want? Uh, we could do LRM 10. Wow, a tier five LRM 10. Holy shit. Or a tier five PPC and a double heatsink. Gee, I wonder what we're going to go for. I think we have our kill 10 demolisher units. Yes, please and thank you. <laughs> we do find a decent number of those. We'll we'll be able to do that. It may take a while, but we've we've got that. All right, we're repairing now. We've got everything sorted. Okay, let's hit up our star map. What is that? Why is it sending us all the way up here? That's weird. Okay, well that's okay. I know which one that is. We're we're not doing that. The moment. We're gonna try. There we go. We can actually get to this, and we can finally do our assassination contract. <laughs> so we could finally, hopefully, finish off defending the honor part three. We've been trying to do this one. Every time we've done any mission of this, we just keep getting rocked. So let's try to finally wrap up this little mini adventure arc here. That would be really nice. Whatever the reward is on this, you know it's not going to be worth it. <laughs> Considering what we, we've we lost a Basilisk and Agincourt trying to do this, this mission type. There's no way whatever is here is going to be worth this. None. There's no way. <laughs> I just don't see it. All right. So anyway, only a handful of the fourth Regulan Hussars is involved in this betrayal. And Count Cameron Jones wishes to punish the traitors destroyed. Um, hunt down the leader who fomented this misguided endeavor and eliminate them with extreme prejudice. Wow, this is going to be really well paying. Um, I think, yeah, we'll go same thing. We'll go really, really high salvage. And we're still going to make three million out of this. As long as we don't get completely fucked, is in effect, should be okay. Have limited visibility out there and have to contend with sensor malfunctions. Do we send in the Marauder? Or do we send that Orion in instead? Let's go in with the Orion. The, the AI really should be decent with the fucking Orion. It really, really should. So I'm hoping... That they will be. All right, let's do this. We've got this. It looks like Count Cameron Jones has unearthed the conspirators and wants us to make an example of them. Commander Daxon Mahat is said to be the leader of the dissidents and must be dealt with. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna be a little smart here. I'm gonna. Ugh, goodness gracious. Kill that turret. Thank you. And it still managed to hit my frickin' leg. I couldn't shoot through the trees. I tried. I tried shooting through the trees. Just didn't work. Um, so anyway, we're going to try and be smart about this. That little northeastern corner, I think what's going to be able to happen is we're going to be able to look over the ledge. And anything that's defending that nav point will wake up and will try to come up the hill to attack us. So we're going to try and do this a little bit smarter. Because if I go down into that ravine and we go somewhat close to those two nav points, they're both going to trigger and we're going to have to fight the entire map's worth of shit all at once. Uh-uh. Seraph's not about that. <laughs> we're we're going to be tactical about this. So we're going to go up here. We're not going to be able to really fight them, but we could let them see us. And then, hi, kitty kitty. Who's my good kitty kitty? Come on. Good, got it. Yeah, we lost it. Who's a good girl? Wait, where is, where'd my cat go? Where'd you go? I don't think we got that. There you go. You saw it though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the shot on it. If it had gone to the right though, we would have gotten it. All right, where's this patrol? Oh, here they are. Fine. We got 
got that thing. Come here, you assholes. Damn. Ah, fuck. Okay. At this point, I would kill for my nose not to itch anymore. Hello! Give me two seconds and I will see who actually said hello. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Kill that turret. Greetings, Nade. How are you? So obviously we're not playing E6. I couldn't actually get it to run properly. So that sucked. So we're playing Mech Warrior instead. <laughs> I did uh, the very first mission of Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. Oh, there we go. Fucker. Sure we got that. Deal with you. Fine. Fucker. Okay, got it. There we go. Worth it. Come on, we almost got this guy. Good. Good. But that works. We already had to fight them. So that's good. And we made them come to us. We had high ground, we were able to kind of choke them through here. That worked out really well. Yeah, I'm... I may end up having to just get the PS2 version and emulate it. The Steam version, the uh, cinematics are all sorts of warped. Like the game actually ran, but uh, the cinematics wouldn't display properly for some reason. I couldn't get them to render correctly. So I'm like, that's not going to be a good streaming experience. I mean, I remember them. Like if it were just me playing the game, you motherfucker, are you coming, buddy? There we go. Thank you. I have a straggler back there holding up the uh nope you're not enough out of you <laughs> all right i think we're gonna scale this hill see if we can get next to power on and then we're gonna descend on the hill <laughs> oh ghosty man wow oh my god <laughs> that's awful <laughs> god damn can we hit that can we hit that yes we can yep let's run down now what do we got good kill that tur tank all right now we'll run over here and we'll deal with this rifleman We go. We got this guy now. All right. While you guys deal with that, oh my god. Okay. Well, we got a banshee. You guys deal with the banshee. I'll continue worrying about this fucking. I actually wonder if I should try to target its head. You know what? Can't seem to find its head. Okay, deal with the SRM carrier. I'll clean up these this riffraff so they don't completely fuck us up here. Deal with those assholes. That guy's far away. This fucking shithead. Burned out through its armor, just like that. Damn it. You guys. Let's get the hell out. <laughs> Yep, 
Getting the fuck out of here before even more shit gets lands. Yep. And those riflemen can fuck us up, so get the hell out. Right now. Yeah, get out of there. Evac, now. God damn it, Curtis. That's why I told you to get the fuck out. Oh my god, Curtis. You got cord? I swear, this has been the most cursed fucking mission series. <laughs> I can't believe we can't get through a single mission of this whole quest chain without losing a mech. And that and that that hero mech was not that fucked up at the time. It must have just gotten itself cored. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I mean You can't even make this shit up. God damn. God damn. Well, we're taking that fucking rifleman for the trouble. Assholes. Yeah, we'll take that AC5, whatever. Unless there's anything really good in here. Probably not. Yeah, you weren't even all that damaged. I mean, you lost an arm, but yeah. You managed to you managed to get fucking center torso destroyed. Fucking bastard. You ruined our payout. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Nice job, Curtis. Don't know if Freakbot jumped in yet, but he finished. Yep, he did. Yeah, he was in. We we got the news. That was pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, Commander, you've carried the day and helped me purge the unworthy from the ranks until only those truly loyal to Regulus remain. Know that those few who survived your guns will face court-martial and to the fullest extent of military law for their ignoble actions. The Principality of Regulus shall long remember your contribution to this battle of provincial security. So yeah, well, that was that was not that was not worth it in any way, shape, or form. That that was a terrible quest line. That was an absolutely atrocious quest line. God damn, we uh, that was that was awful luck all around. But let's travel here. Let's try and repair. Oh my god. Still nice to get a still nice to get the um, riflemen out of it though. Hell, I might just sell the rifleman at this point. Just to get Well, we're still north of 43, but let's let's repair. Let's repair. Let's repair you. Let's find out how expensive you motherfucker you've lost a double heatsink to, you son of a bitch. You're only getting a single heatsink. You can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. Clearly. To not lose a fucking double heat... You know what? Fine. We'll put that double heat sink here. We'll put that double heat sink in here. But I'm not replacing... You're not getting another double heat sink. We'll put it in there to hopefully keep it from getting destroyed. At least you didn't get your Guardian ECM destroyed. But damn, dude. Yeah. Our our entire... Our, our, all of our profit went right into repairing this mech. Suck. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So, let's see. That would be interesting to bring the Basilisk back out. But you know what? I, I, I feel like we tried getting the Basilisk to work. And the Basilisk just kept getting cored, too. Although that one wasn't cored. It just lost all the good shit. But we'll put the Rifleman over here in case we get a... Hey, repl replace uh, Rifleman and all that. But now we can put our Streak SRMs back in this... Theoretically, why don't we, why don't we see? Let's take you out. Let's repair all. And yeah, our Beagle Actor Pro. We're not get, we're not getting the bag of Actor Beagle Actor Pro. I don't have, I don't have it. Um, I think that's okay. But for the small missile slot, we've got Streak, streak SRM twos here, so we can put Streak SRMs back in this puppy. We've got more than enough SRM ammo. What I need is streak SRM ammo. Yeah, that would be just fine. That would be just fine. Hmm. Take a look.
We actually have LRM 10 tier 4s. We could put in there instead. Even though I'm hesitant to do this. <laughs> I'm very hesitant to do this, actually. But, uh... But what we can do is we can give this a whirl and try and give it... Give this a try again. Of course, it's going to take 100 days and 5 million sea bills to do, but we can get our Agincourt back. Because I do like the mech. I just... We just can't seem to fucking keep it in circulation. We don't have a, an electronic warfare suite that we can put in there. I'm guessing the active, the Beagle active probe was a half a ton. That's that's probably what's going on here. So, all right. So I guess what we'll do instead is we'll just put this streak SRM half ammo just for just to keep the mech sizable. Yeah, cool hundred days work. Motherfucker. But at least this mech will be back up and operational, and we're still above our 35 million Seabill. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but at least now we're we're kind of recovering from that whole fiasco. So now let's go and let's view transmissions here. Blood minerals. Ah, and we got air of nothing here. So we've got tons of options. Let's see. All right, I am Duke Elias Von Richter. As a man with a keen focus on my legacy, I've started to look into the future, towards a time when I'm no longer here. I don't have any direct heirs, and so normally upon my passing, my younger brother, Emil, would be set to gain everything, including my royal title of Duke. But Emil is vain, spoiled, narcissistic, and ill-suited to rule an entire planet. I don't want my legacy as the Duke of Penobscot, Penobscot, tarnished by the succession of someone so unworthy to rule. So I have taken steps to ensure that Emma will never inherit anything from my estate. Not my wealth, not my royal titles, not my land grants. Upon my death, my titles and all my possessions are to be returned to the Commonwealth and donated to the people of Penobscot. But despite previously inheriting a fortune that makes him wealthy enough to live in the lap of luxury for the rest of his life, Emil feels slighted at the notion of being denied my possessions. He seeks the dukedom and the prestige it comes with, feeling that he is owed what he has never once sacrificed to earn. Rumors swirling around my royal court have whispered that Emil is building up a large mercenary force with ambitions to usurp me of my titles. And while they are nothing but court rumors at the moment, it has caused enough concern for my honor guard that they beg me to bring in an independent party to investigate. I don't have any proof of wrongdoing. So I will need a mercenary with discretion. I want you to take out uh, some of my lieutenants of this supposed mercenary force Emil is assembling and report back to me with your findings. Yeah, we'll accept that. And now, uh, so yes, we've got another... Greetings, Merc. We've got a delicate situation on our hands. Could use the services of an outsider. Our quarrel isn't with a rival house or militant insurrection. Instead, we're having issues with a mining collective known as the Obsidian Harvest Corporation. Years ago, Obsidian pensioned the protectionist minister of trade to provide the company with a parliament-backed exclusive mining contract on the world of Amnity, in some of the harsh deserts along the presence planet's equatorial line. What everyone thought was a modest, rare mineral patch turned out to be one of the richest veins of <laughs> rare earth minerals on Amity. Their negotiated contract with the League was set at a fixed rate of fair market value. But the quality of the ore extracted from the site has drawn the attention of the Lyran Commonwealth. We have come to learn that Lyran traders offered Obsidian three times the market value to buy out Obsidian's full supply, in clear violation of their contract with Parliament. <laughs> oh boy, gotta love the politics of this situation. Unfortunately, Obsidian's greed got the best of them. Not only have they been selling a majority of their haul to the Commonwealth, but they've been poorly attempting to hide their dealings with them from Parliament. This stands to be particularly embarrassing for the Minister of Trade, given his political affiliation as a protectionist. Since the protectionists pride themselves as nationalists who heavily oppose international trade of any kind with antagonistic states like the Lyran Commonwealth, if news were to get out about this debacle, it stands to seriously hurt the protectionist agenda in Parliament. We have to deal with Obsidian's flagrant disregard for their contract, but we don't wish to draw media attention as to why we're taking these actions. We want to do this quietly without the press getting involved which is what we're hoping a mercenary of your reputation can assist us with. We need you to blind a number of Obsidian-owned communications arrays under the guise of a planetary raid. Make it look good and blind them to our true intentions to punish these traitors. And we'll get a fucking cause rifle from all this shit. So yeah, this is this is a good one. Okay, so we got a while to repair that. Uh, we also have this going on over here, whatever this is. Although, if I remember destabilization, I don't remember destabilization. 
I actually don't remember what that one is. So we've got Amity up here. We've got Defend the Enhanced, the False Flag, and Forceful Negotiations. We got a bunch of these things. We also have Campaign Mission. Ah, uh, and then Air of Nothing is all the way up here. Um, ah, uh, Legend of the Kestrel Lancers is the Air of Nothing. So yeah, that one would be nice to do, if nothing else, just to give us a mission that isn't going to be fucking complete uh, a complete shit show. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to remember rather. All right, so there's the Shadow Coop, Dragon in Sheep's Clothing. Rise of the Black Dragon, that's probably going to be crazy. But there's a, a, a mission series where it's possible to get a really valuable Highlander mech, which I know I've mentioned before because they're awesome shipping disruption. I just don't remember what it, which one it is. I wish I could remember, but for the life of me, I just... I'm just having a really difficult time remembering which one it is. And it might be destabilization. Demolition, raid, I think at least this one they're giving us the mission types that are associated with it. Whereas these, okay, defense, war zone. No, that one's not going to give me that. Defense, war zone, assassination. I don't think it's the false flag though. Raid, demolition, war zone. Demolition Raid. I feel like one of them's an assassination mission. I mean, unless it's just not... Unless it's further into the future that it lands. I feel like I would remember it if I saw it. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, all right. So, without any further ado here, we've got... Uh, I mean, this one's the closest. We really should be able to handle this. Demolition Raids. I remember this being... I remember these demolition raids sucking a lot. I remember these sucking a lot. So you know what? Let's well, let's go here. Let's call in some airstrike support. And let's see if we can do these missions real quick. Maybe this isn't as bad as I remember. Although, I'm going to guess that it's going to be as bad as I remember. Ah, yes. Destabilization. Oh, and then Happy New Year. Oh, right. 3028 looks to be a big year for the company. Remember that Aiden Sordix said that he is eyeing us for a potential long-term contract with the Federated Sons. Yep, the Kestrel Lancers DLC. Long-term employment contracts with the Great Houses are often the most lucrative contracts a mercenary can secure. But the Great Houses demand a lot from their sponsored mercenaries, so we need to be ready by the time they come for us. Although Colonel Sordek did not provide us with any specific timetable for when an offer will come through, it's been my experience that these offers tend to be offered towards the tail end of the first quarter of the year. So we should have around three months left to prepare our forces for anything. Colonel Sortek mentioned that he wanted to see 10 operational battle mechs and enough pilot to field two uh, pilots to field two lances. We should do our best to ensure that we've trained up the talent and built up a solid enough force to meet those expectations. Due to regulations by the MRB, these offers will always allow us a review period of six months by the time the contract's offered. So while we should do our best to prepare ourselves before Colonel Sartek presents us with the contract, just know that we will have a wee bit of extra time to prepare ourselves should we feel the need. Yes, thank you. And now, destabilization. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of uh, concerned citizens unhappy with how Captain General Janos Merrick continues to ignore the problems our worlds are facing. We would like to send him a message. You will initiate strikes to destabilize the region between the Principality of Regulus and the Duchy of Orient, ancient rivals for political power within the Free World Sea. These combined hits will enable us to demand the Captain General turn his attentions to the citizens that need aid. The first of several strikes will target a manufacturing hub, private security forces on the premises, but that should be no obstacle for a commander with your battlefield acumen. Here we go, we got demolition here. The only problem is we're going against House Merrick, but... Um, Oh, hey, Darkstar, greetings. How are you, my friend? Let's do, let's do it. Give him a shout out before we get involved in this. Let's see. Darkstar. Boom. There we go. How was Shining Force 3 second scenario? Welcome, Raiders. Normally, we'd be playing uh, E6, but I couldn't actually get it to work right. And so uh, we're playing MechWarrior instead. <laughs> 
Oh, fucking doo-doo at the end. Oh, God, that sucks. Sorry. Yeah, it's it, it's been it's been one of those streams so far here. <laughs> Fortunately, we're still kind of having fun with it. We're just kind of shrugging our shoulders and laughing at it. The only thing that worked out well was let the uh, Operation Galahad for Legend of the Crestral Lancers. But the rest of it's been just kind of like a shit show. <laughs> so I hear you, my friend. Welcome aboard. <laughs> we'll just continue, continue the theme of that. All right, so this is a demolition mission. So we're going to assault the manufacturing hub and destroy the facility completely. A night strike will minimize potential civilization casualties. Uh, but yeah, everybody from my channel, feel free. Give Darkstar a follow. He plays uh, Shining Force. Uh, that's one of my, I, I think that's one of the most underrated RPGs of all time. It is such, such a good series. Let's try and make some of our money back. Um, Yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to deal much of salvage. Fuck, fuck salvage. Let's just go max money here. Let's just try. Oh, uh, I do want to go with one mission airstrike support. Now, the question. The eternal question. Do I want to go with this? Or do I want to go with something that might... That we might be a little more capable of dealing with as far as... Might even want to. Might even want to go the Warhammer, and I'll and I'll explain why. So the Stalker is a really good mech, but it tends to be a more long range assault type of deal. This Warhammer, with those small lasers, they tend to fire really quickly. We can go over a lot of terrain, but you know what? I'm I'm still gonna go with this Stalker here. That was just my my thought process. Did we not repair this? Captain Curtis is going to be... Oh, well, fuck. Shit. That's going to be a while. Uh, all right, so let's go with this instead of Curtis here. Um, Juarez, you're, you're back up. <laughs> you're going to go in through the, with a Warhammer here. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. So, it's, you, you, again, you know, it's, it's kind of, you can, but I'm hoping I don't even take damage. What I'm kind of hoping is we kind of go in, destroy the fucking site, and just get the fuck out. So it depends on the mission. If, I, if I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a lot of damage in a mission, yeah, I, I definitely will take some damage coverage. Because you will see bill for see bill. If you do take the damage, you're going to use it. Target, it is still being patrolled by a private security outfit, so stay sharp. Airstrike support is available on this mission. I'll let you know when they reach the target area. Okay. So there's... Is that our target? Yep, it does look like that's our target. Alpha Group, this is Sierra 2-1. Be advised. Strike payload is ready and awaiting your tango confirmation. Sierra 2-1 out. Alpha 1-1, one, one, this is Sierra 2-1. Yeah, Roger. bomb the target before we even get there. Sierra 2-1. <laughs> Stand But most likely, with all that damage we just did to it, if there are enemies around there, hopefully they'll come out to deal with us. And we can fight them out in here instead of the very tight confines in there. At least here we can use our long-ranged weapons to soften them up before they get close to us. But uh, to answer your question, even though I think I kind of did, uh, it depends on the mission. So for, for missions where I know I'm going to take one on the chin, yeah, I will definitely... Oh, shit. Alright, well, I may have missed the better... Damn it. I may still have killed it. Yeah, we only got 20% of its fucking health. God damn it. Oh, and that's a fucking Warhammer. Yeah, guys advance. Deal with the fucking Warhammer, please. Kill 
Christ. You know what to do. Good start, Commander. I'm showing major damage to the target facility. Okay, got that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There it is. I hate Warhammers. Come on, guys. I didn't kill that? Shit. I had to deal with that turret. Alright, you guys have that under control. Let's go continue to demolish the base. We need to destroy this fucking thing. this. I actually find for demolishing missions, it's just faster to walk through walls <laughs> rather than shooting things. Unless you have different mechs. Like, there are a couple of... Oh, god damn it, and they're dropping! Fuck. Yeah, the airstrike didn't do enough damage. I fucked up with the airstrike. I should have brought another airstrike support, honestly. Alright, you guys. Yeah, you deal with that you deal with that fucking Cyclops. Yeah, we gotta deal with this. We gotta deal with this Cyclops. That AC-20 is gonna wreck any of my mechs that fucking don't. We gotta deal with it. It sucks. Yep. Good. Now deal with that. Fortunately, we're getting enough, uh... Come on. You guys deal with the blackjack. I'll continue dealing with the base. Come on, come on, come on. It's not a wall. What do we got over here? Oh, good. I can just walk through all this. Perfect. But yeah, good mechs for this are fast things like, um... Let's see, what am I thinking of? Um... Fucker. Good. Care. We're almost done here. Come on, get unstuck from it. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Good job. Let's go. Nope, we're out of here. Good job, good job, good job. Let's double time this. Damn it. Ah. Good. We got that. Thank you. All right. This little bastard. Jesus. Enough of this fucker. Let's 
enough out of you, you asshole. Oh. You guys weren't doing that. Alright. <sighs> Problem is we got another demolition mission to do. But made it through the other side of that, alright. Yeah, I much prefer when I can see and get a good recon of the base so I can do airstrikes a little bit more effectively. I think for the next one, I'll just bring two. Continue. Right. Uh, yes, we will take the tier four LRM-10. <laughs> Please and thank you. I mean, could take that small tier, small laser too, but whatever. All right. Good. You guys are leveling up. Oh, see. All right. So if I had taken damage coverage, that would have been. A, it ended up being about a wash because I think each of my cover, each of my pay shares, were about that much. Usually, damage coverage ends up being a little higher. But if I had taken two points of damage coverage, that would have been a waste for this. So, a lot of times, the damage coverage, if you get the best use out of it, you got to kind of really play the game of how much damage coverage to get. But it is nice when you can get damage coverage and you don't have to worry about, like, getting trashed. We regret the decision to withhold the information that the private security force you faced was part of Earthworks FWL Incorporated, but our efforts are all on a need-to-know basis. Fucking assholes. Yes, you've angered one of the largest transnational corporations within the Free Worlds League, but that's for a good cause. Our citizens must be protected, and the predations of Regulus and Orient must be curtailed. Your next objective will be to raise a food processing plant. There are plenty of food reserves in all affected sectors, so your actions will not create undue hardship. Remain confident that you are servicing the greater good, or serving the greater good. For your success in this campaign will ultimately help many people whose voices would otherwise fall on deaf ears in Parliament. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Still don't have any Marauder mechs, so collect three Vulcan mechs? Maybe. We don't see a lot of dragons, so that's not a good one. This might be good. Three LRM-15 tier fours. LRM-15 tier fours. The problem is these don't count. It has to be these. So I, I just don't have them. LRM-15 tier four. Don't have it. At least I don't think this would count. It'd be nice if this counts, but I don't think this is going to count. My guess is that those don't count. That gets pretty uh, frustrating when you try to do that. But we could try to collect the Vulcan. Sucks about that. Because I would like a tier 5 here, a large laser. And I definitely would like the double heat sinks. I just don't know what my odds are of getting LRM-15 tier 4s. But you know what? Let's try it anyway. Objective logs... Let's get rid of the Marauder. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. But let's try this and see if it even counts. Let's see if we scroll down. Does it highlight it as something that can be turned in for that? Nope, it can't. Because otherwise it would be selected. Fucking A. Those assholes. So yeah, that's the only problem with the Cantina missions sometimes. Um, you know, when you want to try and take one of those... It's oddly hyper-specific. So collect three Vulcan mechs. How many mechs do we have? We've got... Do I have any Vulcans? I do not have any Vulcans. Well, fuck it. We'll just keep that one for now. Even though I don't think we're going to get it. But screw it. We'll just keep it for now. We'll repair you. We'll repair you. All right. Our next one, we got to go to Wallace. We got to do another demolition contract. So let's go. Very good. Have a good one, Nade. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Actually, I'm looking at the hour. This might this might be my last mission of the night, too. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll look for LRMs anyway. Didn't think we'd find it. <laughs> Destabilization. Yep. Uh, let's do two of these. And you know what? Just for the shits and giggles of it. We'll do one damage coverage. Guess what? 
Uh, yeah, let's try and get through this as fast as we can. So, mission starts in 10 days. Do we want to wait? I think we'll wait. I am okay with waiting. I mean, I could swap out the stalker for something, but I think let's just let's just go with the same Let's go with the same load loadout. Uh although let's go in Oh wow, you're still You're still being repaired? 17 days versus 10 days. Well, all right. Yep. We'll go with the extra week. That's how badly that frickin' archer got wrecked. Took forever for that to get repaired. Maybe we can do a better job this time of aiming the um, arrow fighter strafing run. See, this is a case where being able to control the arrow fighters would be a lot more useful. But be warned, the security forces of Earthworks FWL are on high alert. I think we might be able to see it a lot easier from over here. Yeah, let's go this way. Approach the target area to call them in. That's what we're going to try and do. I mean, we could just try also going up this region, but I think what I'm better off doing is just going down this way, approaching the target site from the south, and see if we can um, see it. Be able to target it a little better. But yeah, if I could just target the airstrike from here, I would target like that northwestern part of the one building near the nav point, and then the southeastern part of the building from the nav point. But I guess it would make this a little too easy. Because then, yeah, with two airstrikes, we could just completely destroy uh, the facility that we're supposed to destroy. What are we going to do here? And sometimes the um, nav points are a little off. Like, clearly that... We're, this would have us walking it. Instead. Oh, you know. That's a ravine. Shit. Hey, we want to be on this side of this. Oh, fuck. Yes. <laughs> the map isn't always entirely accurate. Sometimes it's just, it's off. But actually, I think in this case, we are, uh, well, maybe we are. Oh, shit. All right, let's deal with this asshole. deal with the spider and then we'll come around for whatever stupid ass mech is on the other side of this. We made pretty short work of those assholes. That was the only problem with going this way we had to patrol that we had to deal with. I can't wait to get a good mech with jump jets because then I could just jump up there and I'm if I were at that spot I might be able to call the airstrike in from that vantage point and actually see the facility we're supposed to demolish. <laughs> but oh well. Can we see? There we go. We can see it. Good. All right. I want to see. Okay. You motherfucker. Target that sight. Don't. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! I hate that it won't allow me to target the spot I want to target. 
It wants to do it sooner. Maybe it just out of range of it. Shit, we got an asshole up here. This way, get out of its firing arc. Eh, it can turn, of course it can. It's just fucking fast. Come on, guys, destroy that locust, please. You're not even firing on the locust. I hear. Okay, yeah, you are. Good. Target, locust. Clean Thank you. Thank you. Now, can we use our airstrike support that we, by the way, paid for? <laughs> I think that's the other frustrating part. You have to pay for the privilege to even use this shit. Oh, one, one. This is I don't think I got it. Coordinates confirmed. Sierra 2 1 out. God damn it. It didn't even hit the base. God damn it. Fuck. fuck, 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 fuck. It wouldn't be so annoying if it's something that was available sometimes and it controlled this way. And if you could get use out of it or not, fine. The fact that you have to pay for that, you're sacrificing payment shares for this and I didn't even get use out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna have to get closer here and hope that it will work if I'm closer. It still sucks. A lot. It would be nice if uh, it also was more effective than it was. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Well, let's see how much that... Alright, well, at least we got half of it. It's a shame if, uh... If the first one had worked correctly. Damn it. Fucker. Can't even see the tank there. Got it. Somehow. Got that serum carrier. Oh, they're already dropping fucking units. Come on. Are you kidding me here? I just landed. I haven't even dealt with this shit. And you're fucking dropping more units. This sucks so much. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of demolition missions. Jesus. We're so absurdly outnumbered. It really sucks that, uh... We wasted the one airstrike. Really sucks. Oh, it didn't kill the tank. Damn. Fuck. Shit. Which one? Okay, yeah, let's... Fuck! Nice. Alright, you guys... You guys deal with that. Urgh. Of course, I had to basically all but stop. Come on, you damaged this thing. Ugh. Yeah, you guys fuck that up if you can. Let's see if destroying the wall here. Yep, good. Let's just destroy some wall. Yep, this is the right play. Come on, Juarez. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing over there? Come on. Give me this. Destroy this thing. There we go. We can get the hell out of here now. Juarez, what the fuck, man? Oh, 
Commander. God damn it. That out of the way. Did we destroy that mech? No. Maybe I can fucking kill this Centurion or at least draw its fire so it doesn't destroy my frickin' Warhammer. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, shot me right in the back with that AC-20. No, no, no. No! Go! Ugh! No! No! Follow me! Follow me! Don't die over there, guys! We're evacuating! We're evacuating! Come on! Come on! Come on! Good work. The food processing plant is out of commission. I've been told that this is merely a symbolic attack, so the residents in this region will have enough rations from neighboring plants. I don't know if we destroyed it, but oof. Yeah, I was thinking we were going to lose Juarez there. Yeah, it sucked that they got to the where I was telling them to go, and then they just stopped. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, it would have been nice, but I didn't know if it was going to give us that or not. Uh, yeah, we'll take we'll take the large laser. That's fine. And we'll go with... Um, yeah, we'll go with a small laser. That works. Wow, Juarez somehow isn't damaged. How is that mech still standing? Dear God. Yeah, that would have been a good case for... Only because Juarez got completely wrecked. Yeah, those those demolition missions can be interesting. So we could betray these uh, idiots. Um, quick sell. I'll tender my resignation when the situation is resolved. Because I learned that my company contact you under the guise of concerned citizens of the Free World League. Hired you to destabilize this region. This whole affair arose due to Quicksell's profits plummeting due to the continued rise of the Earthworks conglomerate within the Free Worlds League. In an effort to bring our competitor low while hopefully opening the region to our own military hardware offerings, Quicksell hired you to wage low-grade strikes against Earthworks affiliated properties. In response to your attacks, Quicksell has already received a massive influx from defense contracts from several worlds region. Because of this, my company has likely already reached out to you with an offer to stage an additional attack that will further increase the region's demand for Quicksil branded military hardware. I can't in good conscience allow Quicksil's ruse to continue because it's causing innocents to needlessly suffer. The people that your actions have hurt thus far along with a collection of business people and aristocrats have banded together and will front a modest reward if you choose to betray Quicksil and serve justice to those uh, the corporation's greed has hurt. Should you agree to help us, you will attack the local Quicksell corporate offices to repay them for their dishonest business practices. Hopefully this strike will convince them to stop needlessly terrorizing local systems. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. So these will repair, because these aren't too bad. That Warhammer on their hand just got completely destroyed. But our Archer T is going to be good. So we could go here and do a raid and uh, completely fuck them up. But it is 11.30. I'm thinking... I'm thinking this is a good place to call it a night. That's not too bad. Let's, uh... Let's save. For better or worse. Yeah, we'll just save here. It's fine. We'll save there. Let's exit. Let's see who might be on. Or if we'll just call it a night here. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Oh, Kai's on. You know what? Let's 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 raid Kai and see how he's doing with Stardew Valley. Uh, in the meantime, I'm not sure what's going on this weekend because uh, number one, I I was really hoping to get into E6, and if that's not really working, that's going to be a problem. Um, but also, I am hoping that um, I can get ahead of some of my schoolwork. But this week has not been running according to plan with schoolwork, so this weekend might be a schoolwork catch-up weekend we'll just kind of play it by ear no matter what i will stream sunday night i just don't know what my what the story is for uh for um for saturday but like i said we'll we'll see anyway let's raid kai let's see how he's doing uh in the event in any event otherwise i hope everybody has a great rest of your week and if I don't see you over the course of most of this weekend, I hope you have a great weekend as well. And with that said, the raid is prepped, locked and loaded. 
Everybody, I will see you all approximately later.